markerless motion capture technology is uh, an emerging area. Uh, for a number of years, people who have studied the mechanics of the human body have used what's called markered technology. So they uh, either use video or now there's newer technology that can pick up these various sensors that are placed around the body. So you get some kind of a marker that is attached to the elbow, attached to the shoulder, attached to different positions on the body. So it's not dependent on you or me physically putting a marker on, and that brings some potential error. Uh, it also speeds up the whole process tremendously. Evaluating using markerless motion technology lets us look at how you are moving during various activities. Are there imbalances uh, left side of the body versus the right? Uh, your primary movers versus your secondary movers, which means which muscles are being used. Uh, opposing muscles, agonists and antagonists. Are they in proper balance? Uh, do I have any range of motion and flexibility issues? Uh, am I able to move in a uh, sequence and in a pattern that is healthy and in balance and, and uh, variables like that? So when we do a very general evaluation, which we, we call a performance uh, uh, motion analysis. The, uh, the test actually lets us look at how normal or how healthy are your movement patterns and when we see deviations from it then that raises the caution flag. Maybe there's a problem. Sometimes it's not that big a, a deal. Sometimes it's uh, perhaps a sign of impending problems. Uh, at the other end of it, someone is on the recovery phase we would like to get them back to where they were. We're in the process of working with this new technology of ours to try some activities that have not been measured before. And um, say, for example, uh, maybe we're going to do a soccer penalty kick. Uh, can we actually measure that high-speed activity? Um, is the movement too fast for the technology? We don't think it is, but there's some activities that just haven't, haven't the device hasn't been used for. And uh, so we're going to be doing a lot of experimenting, trial and error. Can, can the system detect um, a baseball pitcher and their mo movements or a softball pitcher? Uh, can they detect a baseball or softball batter and what's their movement pattern as they, as they strike a ball? Can we look at soccer players? Can we look at runners on a treadmill? Can we look at catchers and their throw down to second base? Uh, can we look at uh, football linemen coming out of their positions and striking the tackling dummy or the blocking sled? Can we look at, uh, the, the list goes on and on. Hopefully in the future we'll be working a lot with uh, sport coaches, uh, with uh, the strength conditioning staff, uh, with the medical staff that serves the, uh, the student athletes. And we're certainly not limited to uh, KU. We can reach out to local school districts and uh, sport clubs. Uh, so the, the potential is, is, we think, phenomenal.